We live in a time where literacy is the most important thing that we have. Um, and we also live in a time where people are very isolated. And I think that we have to give people public space that's free to access, that they can come, and that they can engage not only with technology, but with each other. There's a big drive in the US to have libraries as maker spaces, so places where people can come together to um, collaborate and to actually make things. So not just all about reading books, but also about way more than that, about the whole digital revolution. For people with disability at least, being in the heart of the city and not pushed to the margins makes a huge difference for the way we think about ourselves. What I love about this space is that there are computers, but there's also a faucet that you can run water over paint. I love that it invites you to imagine. I love that what you're going to come here and do is you're going to create, you might create a poem, you may create a painting, you may create an online video game. Well, the New City Library has traditional books, but of course, e-books are becoming more popular now, so we have plenty of those to borrow online. And we also have new digital spaces, such as the Digital Hub, the Innovation Lab, and the Media Lab, where people can come and really have a go at these new technologies with any skill level. We have things like a video camera, which is HD. We then have the Apple computers and all the software for recording, um, cutting it the sound equipment and then in the innovation lab we're really excited to be able to offer people 3D pens um, and also 3D printers. In this place here we call Adelaide now that we have known for thousands upon thousands of years at Taranyona, uh, the place, the story place of the big bed kangaroo. So this place here, this land that we sit on, has always been a library and uh, it's a very important thing, knowledge, not only for for today's people here in Adelaide that has been uh, uh, something that we all seek for thousands and thousands of years back, our people that always hungered for knowledge. So we're really looking to the community to come in and work with us, so we're inviting them into this space to see what they think and see how they can help to co-create some programs. In Studio 2 we've got some artists coming in, but we're really looking for historians, writers, poets, anyone that wants to have a space to work and really um, come in and make it their own. I'm hoping that we have an ongoing relationship that sees, well, basically my audience coming to you and your audience coming to me because I suspect they're largely the same. We hope to be running lots of events here with uh, South Australian writers, maybe a writing marathon or something kooky. We'll be running workshops at the Innovation Lab, so we already have some 3D printing for children workshops um, booked in so we'll be teaching kids from 8 to 14 how to create basic 3D designs and then send those designs to the printers to create their own, their own, whatever their imagination wants. Everything's online and live right now so you can book into any program or event or even to just see what's on if you visit adelaidecitycouncil.com forward slash library. It's all about the community owning this space and creating a, a, a future which is going to evolve into something truly unique. Uh, buildings are great, but they're only truly special when the community own those spaces and create something exciting from which uh, ideas and opportunities can sprout.